going to play some Snowflake Review. Um, we're going to be reviewing semester one units, getting you ready for your midterm. So Snowflake number one or Snowball number one. Name all the particles that are in the nucleus of an atom. The answer is neutron, electron, and proton. Snowball number two. Describe what is the nucleus of an atom. The answer is this the nucleus is the center of an atom and it is positively charged due to the proton positive charges. Snowball number three. Loosely packed, ever-changing arrangements of atoms and molecules describe what state of matter? Answer is... Liquids, loosely packed molecules, ever changing their positions. Number three. Number four. Name the following changes in the state of matter. A. When temperature increases, the substance, that is the solid, will change to a liquid during this phase change. When, a temperature in, when the temperature increases, the substance, that is a solid, will change to a liquid during this phase change. Letter B. When temperature decreases, the gas will change into a liquid. This is what phase change. And C, when temperature increases, a liquid will change into a gas through what phase change? The answer is... A is melting, B is condensation, C is vaporization, either boiling or evaporation, depending on how fast it happens. And if it's happening at the surface only, it's evaporation. Question number five. Explain the relative mass, electrical charge, and location of each. Neutron electron, and proton. So tell me the location, the relative mass, and the electrical charge of a neutron, what the relative mass, electrical charge, and location is of an electron, and the relative mass, electrical charge, and location of a proton. The answer is... Proton is inside the nucleus. It has a positive charge and it has a relative mass of 1 AMU. Electrons outside of the nucleus, they're out there in the electron cloud. It has a negative charge and it has a mass of about 1 two thousandths of an AMU, a very small fraction of an AMU. And neutrons are inside the nucleus with those protons. It has no charge and it is about 1 AMU. Number 6. 
What surrounds the nucleus and contains all the negative charges in an atom? The answer is electron cloud. Number seven. Compared to the ocean's crust near the deep sea trenches, crust at the mid-ocean ridge is younger or older? Answer is mid-ocean crust is younger. Question eight. The Hawaiian Islands have formed as a result of plate movement over a answer is hot spot. Question nine. Here are two, or I'm sorry, here are three examples of atoms and the molecules inside of them. In diagram A, you'll notice that they are spread apart, loosely packed. In, in diagram B, they are in a pattern. And in C, the molecules are spread far apart. Which diagram represents a solid? Answer is letter B represents a solid due to the regular pattern the molecules are vibrating in. Number 10. The climate on the leeward side of a mountain range differs from that of the windward side mostly in what? What's the difference? The answer is the amount of rainfall and vegetation. Vegetation meaning plants. Number 11, in seafloor spreading, molten material, meaning magma, rises from the mantle and erupts along the answer is the mid-ocean ridge. Number 12, extreme heat and pressure deep under the earth's surface can change any rock into a blank type of rock. The answer is metamorphic. Number 13, old oceanic crust is more or less dense than younger oceanic crust. The answer is, older is more dense because it is, it is cooler and has had more time to cool. Number 14, what type of earthquake wave or seismic wave can travel through both liquids and solids? The 
answer is primary waves or P waves. Last question, snowball number 15. Name the three global wind systems. Answer is trade winds, polar easterlies, prevailing westerlies. 